This is the Brunsviga Nova 2. The first commercially successful pinwheel machines were made by Wilgot Odner in St. Petersburg in 1890. A year later he set up a factory in Germany, but he found that he'd overreached himself and it was too difficult to oversee two such widely separated production lines. And in 1892 he sold his German factory to Grimme, Natalis and Co. And that is the company that made, makes this machine. So that, that was a company that made uh, uh, sewing machines and also uh, ovens and um, heaters. But uh, yeah, when they started uh, making uh, pinwheel machines in 1892, that was overseen by Franz Trinks. He uh, soon developed the Odner machine much further, building in lots, lots of interlocks and safety mechanisms, until eventually in 1925, this machine, uh, this series of machines, in fact, uh, was made. The Nova series. Uh, had several different models in it, all using interchangeable parts. And yeah, let's have a look. There's uh, there's a counter at the top, the uh, the input register here, and here are the the pins with which you can set the input register. And here at the bottom is a carriage with the output register. Uh, and if you turn the crank, the input register gets added to the output register and the counter is increased by one. So small uh, multiplications you just do by turning the crank by however many, um, however much you want to multiply it by. So I've now done it four times. So 4 times this number is this number. For higher multiplications you have to uh, switch, uh, use this uh, switch to move the carriage. You can move it to the right once, so it's now in position 2. On the counter you see that this indicator is also shifted over to the next digit, the second digit. And now you can turn however often you need for that second digit to be the one you want of the uh, multiplicand. Um, yes, these levers here are for clearing the numbers. So here you clear the counter. You can see that there was a red indicator here while you were turn while turning this to indicate that at this moment the counter is locked. You can't do any other operation at the same time. The same goes for the register. As you clear it, there's this red indicator here. And also the input has the same kind of uh, indicator there. Uh, subtraction is uh, easy. It's just moving the crank in the opposite direction. Uh, by the way, there's this nice uh, cradle here for the uh, crank handle, so that you can uh, move it quite quite fast, and it uh, uh, the springs in this uh, clamp sort of uh, slow it slow it down uh, quite nicely. Uh, the the counter here is quite interesting. Uh, the most common design of pinwheel machine has the counter to the left uh, of the regis main register in the uh, on the carriage, but here it's at the top, and it has uh, a complete uh, carry mechanism. But uh, it also it also automatically switches uh, to addition or subtraction. If I uh, I've cleared the counter, and if I now uh, turn the crank handle uh, anti-clockwise. It switches to subtraction mode, so it's now set to one. That I've and it, all the digits are red, 
so it means I've subtracted once. It, it now counts how many times I've done an, a subtraction. If I do an addition, it decreases. So it goes the opposite direction to, to normal automatically. And it does this. There's this uh, uh, screen this, uh, with small windows in it that shifts to the left or, uh, when it uh, goes to negative numbers. So when I clear it, you can see that it shifts over to the right to the uh, addition numbers, the ones in white, and that those uh, count in the opposite direction. Uh, yeah, there's a small indicator here that indicates the direction in which you last turned the handle. So I've last turned it in the positive direction, addition. If I turn it backwards, it shifts to negative. Uh, the, uh, this model later, they didn't bother to put this in. They uh, removed that uh, thing. Apparently it wasn't very useful. Uh, this machine also has a back transfer mechanism. That's this lever here. If you uh, clear the input and you can transfer the number that's in the register into the input. And to do that I need two hands. I have to uh, turn this back transfer uh, lever and now clear the register. So the number that was in the register has transferred to the uh, input. It's not doing it completely correctly unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it probably needs a bit more oiling and lubrication for it to work properly. So that was the uh, Brunsviga Nova 2. Thank you for watching.